this is Simarjit Singh back again with the Quotes That Inspire series. These videos are my reflections on some of the most powerful words that I have come across and that have given me personally hope and optimism during my own tough times. There are going to be times in your life, my friends, when you'll just have to wait. Just wait. And I'm not talking about waiting in the traffic. I'm not talking about waiting in the line at the supermarket. I'm talking about the waiting period between your planting something and before you harvest it. I'm talking about the waiting period, before, you know, when you conceive of something, when you come up with an idea and when that idea is actually put into action and the results actually show up, the time in between. And this is a critical period of time because a lot of people give up during this time. A lot of people lose hope, lose faith and they give up because they don't see the results they don't have faith in the process. Please remember, the universe doesn't work on your timetable. It has its own gestation period for everything. Human beings, you know, for, for a human being to take birth, it takes nine months. You cannot speed up the process. I don't think science and artificial intelligence, for all the progress that it's made, has come to a point where we can speed up this gestation period of a human being. It's gonna take nine months. I think it was Seth Gordon who first said, Nine women can't give birth to a baby in one month. Nine women cannot give birth to a baby in one month regardless of how much they cooperate. <laughs> it is going to take nine months. Uh, the universe doesn't care for the intensity of your efforts. It's going to make you wait. Remember, good things take time. It's going to make you wait. And I believe for good reasons. It has its own timetable, just like watering or putting fertilizer in a plant every day won't make the plant grow faster, it will kill it. And therefore, there is this built-in buffer time before the results of your efforts show up. And my message to you is this, get good at utilizing the waiting period. As the Bhagavad Gita says, be detached from the outcome. And I personally believe uh, focusing on the outcome is one of the biggest distractions there is to anything substantial, to anything long term. If you're always focused on the outcome, if all your inputs are tied in to, you know, watching the results immediately, you're not going to be putting in your best efforts. So I think a great, great reminder there from the Bhagavad Gita, be detached from the outcome. Instead, focus on the process. Instead, understand that there is a buffer built in for good reasons. And also understand that it will never be a straight line from your vision to reality. It will never be this unrealistic straight line from point A to point B. Um, you know, when we map out a goal and we decide the steps, uh, we have to get comfortable uh, we have to build in the sort of um, flexibility we need for the unexpected twists and turns. An old Chinese proverb goes something like this. What makes the gods laugh? It's men making plans. So human beings making plans is what amuses God. Um, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't plan. What it really means here is we should understand that it's not going to be a straight line to anywhere. Today's quote is from Professor James Richardson, poet, aphorist, and professor at Princeton University. I love his aphorisms and his witty deep one-liners, a lot of wisdom there. Today's quote is, water deepens where it has to wait. Water deepens where it has to wait. I think a profound lesson here for everyone, because I know there's millions of us out there, there are millions of people waiting right now waiting for circumstances to change, waiting for the next job, waiting for their uh, the venture that they started, their entrepreneurial venture that they started, waiting for it to succeed, waiting for their health to get better, waiting, waiting, waiting. There's millions of us out there waiting for a better tomorrow. And sometimes we will end up with the feeling of being stuck as if we'll be convinced as if the universe is conspiring to deny us a better tomorrow, as if the universe is conspiring to deny us the very opportunities that we think we deserve. Here's my message. Use that waiting period to deepen yourself, just like water does. Deepen the reservoir of your skills. Deepen the reservoir of your knowledge, of your patience and of your drive and your ambition. Do not let this waiting period dishearten you, but instead harness it, use it to make you more powerful just like water does. I was at the Hoover Dam last year and what an awe-inspiring sight this 
piece of marvel of engineering, you know, long back when it was created, it brought life to the Nevada desert. And that's all made possible by harnessing the power of water, which has been made to wait. And make no mistake here, the water will eventually find its way forward. As Bruce Lee said, the shapeless, formless water is going to find a way. It's going to find a breakthrough. It's going to find its way forward. But the weight deepens it and makes it more powerful. Professor James Richardson wrote another quote on patience in his book, which goes something like this. Patience is not different from courage. Patience is not different from courage. It just takes a little bit longer. I love those words. And personally, I feel patience is like courage running a marathon. You know, you can have courage for a few moments, have a burst of energy to achieve a goal. But patience, long-term persistence is like courage running a marathon. So in closing this video, here's my message to everyone who's waiting. Waiting for the results of your hard work to show up. Waiting for your circumstances to get better. Waiting to pay off that loan. Waiting to get into college. Waiting to get into a better job or to move to a new city or waiting for some of the restrictions to disappear which you feel uh, are holding you back right now. Here's my message. Maybe this wait is a gift. Maybe this waiting period is a blessing. Maybe it's here to make you stronger. Maybe it's here to make you more capable. Maybe it's preparing you for all the success and all the opportunities that lie beyond it. Maybe the breakthrough that you're seeking, maybe it's just around the corner. Be like water. Let the weight make you stronger and deeper. Let the weight make you a force to be reckoned with. And work harder during the weight, my friends. You see, anyone can work hard when the results are visible, when the results are emerging. Humanity would be so different if we could offer guaranteed outcomes. But we know, we know they don't exist. So there's only a small percentage of people who can put in the efforts during times of uncertainty. And these are the ones who will actually be able to transform their lives. Work harder during the waiting period and promise yourself not to lose hope during this time, to have faith. I'll close with these lines from the famous Don't Quit poem attributed to Edgar Allan Poe. You can never tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems afar. You can never tell how close you are, close you are to the breakthrough. It may be near, just around the corner, when it seems afar. So stick to the fight when your hardest hit. It's when things go wrong that you must not quit. Thank you for watching.